Hi everybody, as promised, I'm doing another video today, um, Saturday, because Tuesday's completely just messed up, we didn't get one. So, today I wanted to update you on my thyroid illness. Um, if you missed the fact that I have a thyroid illness and you hear the whole history of it and how it started and my time at New York City Ballet, etc., you can click over here to watch that. Um, but basically, I just wanted to give you an update, not just because um, I love being honest with all of you and telling you what's happening and you've been so supportive and it's good for me, but also it's good for you guys. I know a lot of you suffer from hypothyroidism. A lot of you commented on that video that you suffer from it. So if one thing I say can help you, I'm thrilled. So that's why I want to really update you today and just give you the rundown of what's happening. Um, basically, last time in the video, I mentioned to you that I have the hypothyroidism, which is an underfunctioning thyroid gland. There's also hyperthyroid, which is overfunctioning. Mine is underfunctioning. And what I didn't get into, however, is that that's just when your levels are not balanced. A lot of people have that. But I also have an autoimmune disease called Hashimoto's, which is basically, in a very broad term, very, very it's like hypothyroidism on steroids. It's like a lot worse, um, whereby your body attacks your immune system, my body attacks my thyroid and the hormones that it produces. Because some people don't have that. Some people just have an out of balance thyroid. They get on medicine, their levels balance out, all is good. Um, but some people have what I have, which is even when your levels look like they're fine, where the blood work all comes out and everything is level and everything is good, and you know that you're still not well, that's because your body is attacking it and you have the autoimmune disease part of it, which is a lot, lot worse. You might have also heard of Graves' disease, I believe, which is like the hyperthyroid on steroids where your body still attacks. Anyway, um, so mine is Hashimoto's and I know a lot of you have it and it is the most frustrating thing in the world. Um, and the reason I'm bringing it up today, again, just for us to get a little bit deeper into this, is that if you're one of those people who has hyper hypothyroid and your levels look good on the blood work, but you're not fine, have your doctor give you a blood test for Hashimoto's. It is possible. I just had it done two weeks ago because I went in um, thinking something is still not 100% and he said, you know what, I'm going to actually give you a blood test for Hashimoto's whereby they measure the antibody level of your blood. Everybody's level should be around, I want to say 20 or so, uh, the level, whatever the level is. Everybody needs to have antibodies. Mine is through the roof. It's like 100 or something. Um, so even though, again, my thyroid levels look good, the T3, the T4, the TSH, I still, it's still not great because I have the antibodies in my blood that are attacking the hormones. So I just found this out two weeks ago because people thought I had Hashimoto's just based on, you know, what I was saying and things, but nobody actually confirmed it until two weeks ago, um, which is fine. Um, I'm actually feeling pretty good. What's really nice is that I haven't, I, I'm not having like weight problems and that I'm still gaining weight. I've lost a bunch and I'm maintaining it, but I just am really stuck. I can't get back to that sort of level and the, the weight that I'm happy at dancing wise, happy as an athlete, um, and with what I'm eating and what I'm doing, I should be doing it. My hair has stopped falling out, out, which is fantastic, and my energy is good. And that is because my levels are balanced, but I still have the antibodies in the blood that are eating everything. So what I'm going to start doing, and I really want to, again, I love being open and honest and all of that stuff with all of you, because if I can help you in some way, that makes me so thrilled. So on my blog now, which I've actually, if you didn't know, completely overhauled my website. You can get through, still get through it to ifthepointyoufits.com, but you can actually get through it to katherinemorganonline.com because it's now sort of my whole website. The blog is included there, but it's more than the blog. But what I'm going to start doing is I have little categories you can go to on the blog tab. Under my life, the my life category, I'm going to have a category that's called thyroid health. And basically what I'm going to start doing there is documenting my experience. I'm going to tell you probably in weekly or bi-weekly posts what happened that week, how I was feeling, what did my weight do, how was my energy level, also what I'm eating, 
things like that, just to kind of show you guys what's happening. And if you're suffering from this, you feel like you're you're going through it with somebody, because I know how frustrating it is. I I know that people think you're making it up. I know that people say, Ugh, I wish they'd stop saying that weight's a problem with thyroid, da 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 da. Which is true. If you balance out your thyroid levels, your weight should go back down and you should be fine. But not if you have the autoimmune disease. So those of you suffering from Hashimoto's, I know, I get it, I feel it. I'm going to start documenting everything. And the other thing I'm going to start doing is start, I change, I'm going to change my diet, I already have. But if all of you are suffering from it and you want to do it with me, it's called the AIP protocol or AIP diet, the autoimmune protocol. I will have a link in the box below that explains the diet, what it is. Um, and as a warning, you have to cut out a lot of stuff. But it's just basically to give your body a reset for about 30 days and then you start adding back in foods and seeing how those affect you. It's kind of an elimination diet, so to speak, but you eliminate even more than the elimination diet. Things like nightshades, which are tomatoes, peppers, eggplant. Um, you eliminate eggs, you eliminate nuts. Obviously, all sugar is out the window. Things like that. It is very, very difficult, but the point of it is that you want to kind of starve the antibodies, repair your intestines, repair everything so it starts to function better, get your antibody levels back down, and then you can start adding back foods, and you can put your Hashimoto's into remission. Um, and you won't have any symptoms and you'll be fine. And as long as you watch it and you make sure your antibody levels are staying low, you can get rid of it. Um, so if anybody's interested, if you're suffering from it and you want to do the AIP diet with me, again, link is in the box below. We can do it together. I'll document it on the blog. I'll share some recipes, things like that. Um, and I just want to start doing that for you guys because I want you to have a resource to show you that, yeah, this isn't easy. We can go through this together. And those of you who aren't suffering from this at all and you want to just kind of follow along with me and what I'm eating and how I'm doing and everything, you can on the blog. I'm not really going to do it in video format. I think it's better written out um, so you can go back to it easily and read through it and see photos and things. But um, that's what I'm going to start doing. So for those of you suffering, you know, because again, I get it. And I feel like I'm at this place where things are good but I'm like stuck. I can't get the last bit of weight off. I can't, I'm not like at super pro athletic level that I wanna be at. But let me tell you all, my doctor said, he's like, you can get back there. He said, we can get rid of the antibodies. We can get rid of, you know, he said, we're gonna to have to watch it. It'll be in remission, but you can get your body back. Your hair will all be really happy. You'll have the energy again. He said, so it is possible. However, it does take work. This is, not, this is not a case of taking a pill and everything is fine, which a lot of people think with thyroid, oh, I'll take a pill and it'll be fine and I can eat what I want. No, you really have to watch it. And the more you accept that, the better off you're gonna be. Don't be angry and, oh, I can't believe that's just the way it is. We're gonna deal with it and we're gonna be better. Um, and again, I like being open with all of you, and I'm, I'm happy with, I'm, I'm much more accepting with where I am at these places. Like my performances in Cleveland, no, I did not look like I used to at City Ballet. I certainly didn't look like I used to in that 15-year-old video, which I'm glad you all enjoyed. I personally think I was a little too thin in that video, I'm not trying to get back there. But um, I have had a lot, some comments on my videos where people are saying, Catherine looks like she's still fat, and Catherine looks like she's not her thin self, and blah, 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 and your body looks awkward, and which is fine. I get it. That doesn't really bother me, but it's, it's, it still hurts, but I'm not going to sit here and, I can't believe they said that, whatever. Like, people who post hate comments on, on YouTube videos, like, do you have anything, obviously you don't have anything better to do, but I just want to show you guys that, no, it's not all perfect, and yes, I performed in Cleveland looking like I did. To show people, no, you don't have to look, be a skinny little mink to perform ballet. And I, it went so, so well, and I'm performing again in Detroit. And I have a bunch of other projects coming up that I cannot wait to tell you about that I can't yet tell you. I have been sworn to secrecy. But point being, I'm still doing stuff. People want me. I'm still doing things. And no, I don't look like I did at New York City Ballet. I'll be the first person to tell you that. I'm not sitting here thinking I do. But I'm trying to get back to a healthy, athletic happy dancing weight and I'm stuck and I, even though I'm you know class and Pilates out the wazoo and like I'm stuck so I'm going to start documenting under that thyroid health tab on the blog post 
weekly or bi-weekly with recipes and updates and things if you guys want to follow along. Because again, if one thing I say can help you, that means the world to me. Because goodness knows when I was first diagnosed with this, if I had come across something like this knowing I wasn't alone in what I'm dealing with, that would have been so much better. Because you start to feel a little bit crazy. You think, well, yeah, am I crazy? Am I making this up? No. So I encourage you guys, if you're still dealing with a thyroid issue or something, get tested for Hashimoto's or Graves if you're the other way. Um, because they can actually test for it. It's just test for the antibody level in your blood. Um, and that's how you know how you're doing. If you missed the video of me dancing at 15 Snow Potada, it's over there. You can click it to watch. I will be uploading more periodically. I'm so glad you guys enjoyed that. I have some that are good, good like that, and I have some that are hysterical, like hysterical that are not good, but they're hilarious. There's hope for everyone kind of videos. Um, and I'm also going to be uploading some current dancing stuff projects I can't talk about yet soon. So stay tuned for all of that. Thank you so, so much. As always, those of you who give me so much support, I love you so, so much. It means the absolute world to me. Uh, you have no idea. Um, thank you so much. I can't say that enough, and I will see you on Tuesday.